My name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to Hearthstone Arena. Okay, what's our least played, eh? I mean, it's Warrior, but do we have a Warrior? Yes, we do. Okay, Warrior is apparently not that bad in the uh, most recent patch. Because you've got the LOE bonus, which is pushing extra... Uh, Press, what, what would be the term? You're more likely, let's just say that, uh, you're more likely to get LOE cards than any other cards. And all the LOE cards for Warrior were amazing. Especially in common slots to basically try and make him better. Evil Heckler's a pretty good card. Arcanite Reaper versus Corcoran Elite. Corcoran Elite doesn't really get played as a four. I mean, you don't really want to play it as a four. It's not that good. It's a little bit extra reach, but so is Arcanite Reaper. I'll take the Arcanite Reaper. Uh, huge Toad versus Burly Rockjaw Trog. We already have a 4-drop. We don't have a 2-drop. Boom. Huge Toad. Uh, Heroic Strike is going to win out here, just because the others are super underwhelming. And Heroic Strike's not that bad. Gilbin Stalker. The others are impossible to really put in a deck. Sparring, sparring Partner is fine. 2 mana 2 3. Uh, sorry, 2 mana 3 2. Ogre Brood, okay. Solid 3. First solid 3. Micro Machine versus Heroic Strike. I can protect a Micro Machine. It's true. Or do I want the Heroic Strike? I think I want the Heroic Strike, actually. King's Defender, definitely. Recombobulator versus Magnetor Alpha and Crowd Favorites. P card with Battle Cry. So that would count to. So I've only got two cards that trigger Crowd Favorite. It's 4 1 4 4. Kind of lame. 4 1 5 3 is also really lame because it trades against a 3 drop. Sorry, a 2 drop. Like a 3 2 will kill it. Uh, and it has to stay on the board for at least one turn, and your opponent has to have a lot of things on the board for it to be effective. So. They have to have a lot of things. It has to stay on the board for more than one turn. So what? You expect them to flood after you play the Magnetor? Because if they already have the things on the board, they're going to kill the Magnetor. Doesn't really seem that useful. I'll take a Reek and Bobbo. Uh, Spiteful Smith versus Cruel Taskmaster. Spiteful Smith is definitely a consideration in this deck. Especially considering I have no actual 5-drop. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I have really 4 2 drops, but I also have Heroic Strikes that I could possibly use. I'm going to go with the Spiteful Smith, especially considering I already have 2 weapons. Frost Elemental is nice. Uh, this is going to have to be the Ogremar Aspirant, just as a 4 mana, uh, sorry, 3 mana, 3 3. The Inspire effect might come into effect, but I don't really care if it does. 3 mana, 3 3 is fine. Silver Moon Guardian, am, am I. Desperate enough to take a Silver Moon Guardian yet? I don't think so. And if I just super stock up on fours, sorry, am I desperate enough on four drop slot to take a Silver Moon Guardian? I don't think so. If I super stock up on two drops, I can just play two twos on four instead. Uh, Death Bite. Well, that's a four drop. Do I take an Evil Heckler or a Stranglethorn Tiger? I need four drops more than I need anything else right now. So we'll take the Evil Heckler. I'm not super pleased with it. Stranglethorn Tiger is typically a better card, but I need fours. Definitely can't take any of these as a higher card, so we'll take the Raging Worgen. Just fine, we have, uh, I guess, only one way to enrage it. Oh, shit. Uh, Arcanite... Arcanite is the worst choice here. It's between Shattered Sun and Obsidian Destroyer. Obsidian Destroyer can just lock your opponent out of the game. Like, you play it and they don't have an ability to deal with anything, and you're like, well, nice game, bro. Uh, Shattered Sun, I mean, if we had more 2 threes, we only have one 2 three, the rest are three twos. If we had more 2 threes, Shattered Sun would be more important, and if we had more one drops, it'd be more important, but we don't. So for that reason, I'm going to go with the Obsidian. I've got one, two, three, three, four. I've got four three drops, that's a decent amount, actually. Obsidian Destroyer is our late game. Ancient Shade. It's either that or the Siege Engine, it's probably the Siege Engine. It's another 5 minor creature. Ancient Shade. Deals 7 damage to myself. I'm going to be using my weapons for the board clear. I've got a King's Defender, Evil Heck... Uh, sorry, King's Defender, Arcanite Reaper, 
and two heroic strikes. I'm going to be taking a decent amount of face damage. I can't really afford to take more at some random point. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. I already have enough late game. The Death's Bite is actually going to be more effective overall than the Bolt of Histoga for me. Strength on Tiger, easily. Uh, captured Yormonger for the late game. Or another Heroic Strike. Heroic Strike is more reach, but do I need more late game at all? I don't really think so. I think I need to stock up on fours. Some fours that I can drop without really fearing the three drop. Because there are some three drops that have four attack. Right, there's a fair amount of three drops that have four attack. Uh, and I don't want Evil Heckler to die to those. So I want things like Mech Yeti and, you know, Yeti. So it's between Heroic Strike and Captured Yormonger. And it depends how much I think I need late game. <sighs> Siege Engine, Spiteful Smith, Stranglethorn Tiger, Frost Elemental, Piloted Sky Golem, Obsidian Destroyer. We're already, like, almost at the maximum amount of late game I want. With Heroic Strike, we can just, like, strike, 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 and then attack the pace with 12. You know what? Fuck it. We're taking Heroic Strike. Dread Corsair is actually going to be excellent in this deck, considering the amount of weapons. Fossilized Devil Saw. This is interesting. I wonder if this patch has been put out yet. But Obsidian Destroyer's 1-1 one, one taunt that it makes, the Scarab, was changed, or is going to be changed, to be a beast. So the Fossilized Devil Saw would trigger off of that. It'll also trigger off of, you know, Stranglethorn Tiger. But I'm thinking maybe I actually want to take the Bone Guard. I definitely don't need more late game. I'll never really get to trigger its Inspire, though. It's just a 3 mana. Uh, sorry, 2 mana, 3, 2. If I took this, this would have to be my last late game card. Like, I would have too much late game. Did I take... No, I didn't take the late game option last time. Okay, I'll take the Fossilite Devil Saw. That's a shitty 4 drop to get, but it's... Way better than the other two. Another Despite. Kvaldir Raider is worse in this class than almost every other class. Just because, you know, in Mage, it's a 7 mana, 6-6, six, six, plus deal 1 damage. You can think of it like that because you have to play the hero power as well. But, obviously, deal 1 damage is way better than gain 2 armor, at least in Arena because you affect the board state. So it's basically the value of your hero power determines how valuable in your class Cavaldia Raider is. So it's between Cleave and Bash basically for me. I'm thinking Cleave because I don't really have the ability as a, excuse me, as a warrior to control the board. And it's a little bit more ability for me to control the board. If they try and flood, I'll have a response. Whereas Bash is more single target. And I think with the amount of weapons I have, I'll have enough single target removal. Especially with the Hero of Strikes. Although I also want the armor gain from Bash. I'll take Cleave, but... I have a fair amount of taunt in this deck, actually. I've got Sparring Partner. One. Dread Corsair, two. Obsidian and Fossil... That's not enough. That is not enough for a bolster, unfortunately. I'll take a Novice Engineer. And then this is probably my best opportunity to pick up the ability to clear the board. So I'll take a Abomination. Just in case I'm starting to get run over, I'll have that to help me out. I feel really good about this deck. We're almost always going to have a 4 mana drop of a Death Spite. Which is enough to pretty much take control of the game. If I just play any of my 5 drops after that, I'm fine. <clears throat> So, put your predictions in. Good work. Or at least just formulate your prediction in your head. And be honest with yourself. Really got to be honest with yourself with this one. Because I don't want anyone going, hmm, I predict two wins. And then I end up going eight wins. And they're like, oh, I totally thought it was eight the whole time. Yeah. No. Be honest with yourself. You think I'm going to get two wins. So do I. But then I think I'm going to get six more after it. One of the things we're going to have to be super careful about is the management of our own health as a resource. 
Victory or death. No, I have enough two drops. I have to throw all this back. We're going to have to be careful about the management of our own health as a resource. That's a lot better for us. The problem is, Shielded Minibot will destroy us. Happy Feast of Wintervale. Oh, never mind, we're fine. So I'm going to coin it too because I've got another two to follow up. And especially if this attacks a shielded minibot to destroy its shield, I can then recombobulate it. <laughs> and basically heal it. You might feel a little tingle. Yeah, I healed it by one health. <sighs> That's just how powerful the shielded minibot is. It gets to... Destroy so much of my stuff. Now my opponent drops a 3-drop. Or not! Wow! That's really good for me. I get the first 3-drop on the board! Yay! They're probably just waiting for a true silver champion, though. If they have a true silver champion, I'm going to be super sad, because then... Like, <laughs> am I going to play Evil Heckler into the true silver champion? Probably not. But if they have to drop, you know... That's not what you want to have to play this turn. I'll tell you that much. Hero power afterwards as well. So, Jeweled Scarab is most powerful in War uh, sorry in Paladin. Because you've got all of the really good Paladin cards that you can get. On three. So, you've got Aldor Peacekeeper. You've got... Uh, obviously, your class cards are pushed up by... <clears throat> by Jeweled Scarab. Reporting for duty. So you've got, uh, ob obviously... I'm trying to think. It's difficult for me. You must understand. Uh, I will kill this with this one. You've got Master for Battle, Alzor Peacekeeper, and Seal of Champions. Does it matter? No, it doesn't. It's fine. Consecration's annoying here, but... Eh. No, oh, wow. That's not even amazing. That's okay. Hit this. So it looks like turn 7 is going to be Stranglethorn Hero Power, which means turn 8 is going to be an 8-8 taunt in the Fossilized Devil Saw. You don't expect that from a warrior. I mean, that kills this anyway, no matter what I do. So... I'll do that because Death Bite uh, plus the 5-5 five five is lethal next turn. And also, they're going to have to find a way to deal with the Pilot Sky Golem as well. Uh, okay, they're looking for a taunt, probably. Finding... Uh... Arcane Nullifier would be pretty big. Ha! The victory is yeah, well played. <laughs> oh, they tried. I think as almost any other class, I would have been pretty sad in that matchup, but... <laughs> oh, man, it worked out for us. Okay. The fact... When did they lose? They lost when they played a Jeweled Scarab and a Hero Power on turn 4 against a... Uh, a Raging Worgen. That's when they lost. Because I got to push 8 face damage in while control the board and develop a 5-4. I had a 5-4 and a 4-1 developed that turn. Or the following turn, at least. Insanity. Okay. 
I've got enough two drops that I expect to get one. This is gonna be rough. Death's Bite at least means if they go for a super- oh, never mind, we're fine. Uh, Death's Bite means if they went for a super, super, super huge flood, I would still at least have a chance. Happy feast of Razor Bale. You know oh! Oh, mm -mm. Don't develop a 3-2. Don't do it to yourself. Nah. If they're already using that charge for face, I definitely need to start uh, killing the board. Luckily, my hero power is actually good in this matchup. Sure. I play the evil hecklers, so... I guess I'm pretty happy at this stage that I have so many taunts in my deck. Because it'll make me much better against this... This cretin. You're a hunter, how are you gonna deal four damage, buddy? Quick shots three. Cobra shots three. Uh, what you want. <laughs> Let's carry it for a trade. Okay. Alright, you nerd. Basically just got myself a 5-5. Five five. For 4 mana as well. It's pretty good. Although I had to play it as a 5 drop, so it makes me a little sadder. I want to play a minion this turn, that's the problem. I don't want to attack Cleave, because then what do I play after with Death Bite? Develop the Death Bite? No. Death Bite is a minion with charge. Let's leave it as a minion with charge. Uh, I think it's Frost Elemental that, go face. Is it? Mm. I kind of want to kill that and then Frost Elemental this. Set myself up for a better cleave next turn, because then I can cleave five drop. Okay. Because I am going to have to deal with that eventually, and cleave's not going to do it. I don't want to have to run my face into it with a heroic strike and give myself four more damage. Or take four more damage, rather. <laughs> I know I immediately lost it, but it was fun while it existed on the board. <laughs> uh... Okay. It's almost certainly Cleave Heroic Strike what Raging no. Worgen. It really doesn't matter where the Cleave resolve resolves, is that true? I guess I want to kill this first. So that means I run this in. Yeah, okay. There's nothing out of the deck. Okay, so at this point, I'm just going to make it impossible for them to kill me. They're running low on cards, they don't have the board. It's gonna be real difficult for them to kill me, unless... Oh, okay, that's that's a really good card in your class. Would not be surprised to see a Savannah High main next turn. If I want anything bounce back to hand, it's this. Bear Trap. I kind of want to develop the 8-8. I think it's actually Heroic Strike and Bomb. It's, it's Heroic Strike and Bomb. What? 
because I can't develop the four drop and the abomination, but I also don't want to leave anything with the, my opponent with anything on the board. So I can't play the fossilized devil saw without, you know, because I won't have the ability to clear. Can I help you, sir? Oh, wow. I'll show them. Wow. That's really good for you. How do I want to clear? It has to involve death bite this time, doesn't it? Or is it... Oh, that works as well, actually. Okay, yeah, we'll go with that. <sighs> My opponent did get some significant card draw there. One damage will help them. Yeah, that's really annoying. Wait, what? You're not going to cast a spell? Shush. Playing that tells me you ain't going to cast a spell, though. So I can sack this, basically, to clear their board. Okay, I have 8, 8, 4. So 8, 8, 8 is 20. Do I have lethal? I've got 8. Plus eight, plus eight. I have... I, I, I am really bad at counting. Twelve, twenty, plus eight. Thank you for actually attacking the right target there. <laughs> we we won double victory as well so what is this deck missing uh i really really would have liked to be able to play with the fierce monkeys that's the three mana three four taunt beast that'd be awesome that's about it really those are the only ones that i kind of would have liked that i didn't end up with If my opponent had the coin, I'd be more inclined to keep Cleave. Happy Feast of Windsor Because then I could use it to counter, you know, like a it's worst case scenario. Use it to counter a Defias. Something like that, coin device. <sighs> okay, there's some good three cost cards that you can get. I'm thinking like Edwin Van Cleef. Um SI7 agent. Fan of knives. Those are like the best ones, I think. Unless I'm just horribly ignoring something. I don't think I am. Those are pretty much the best rogue-specific ones. Of course, there's neutral ones that are really good anyway. What do you got? That was the one they drew. That was the one they drew from this. Backstab? Shiv. Okay. Well, that just gives me, um... Precedence on the board, unless you have a one-drop. Well, you're gonna regret giving me board precedence. Because I can do stuff with it. <clears throat> I can take control of a board and never let it go thanks to my weapons. Unless you got a 4-5. Uh, well, now I can't do any coin plays. That's annoying. I hope you like my invention. 
Transform that, because almost all of them are going to have better stats than that. Or they can... <laughs> so the other one was actually a threat. It was a thing on the board. This is nothing. I don't have a silence or a taunt in my deck. How am I going to trigger it? Dang. I've almost certainly got a message here. For the crusade! No, wow. Well. This is our town, scrum. Yeah, be Okay, that's annoying. So they're desperately going to try and thin down their board because it's the only way you can possibly do anything right now. Avoid the death spike dilemma. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. I'm fine with them developing a dagger. Makes their turn slower. I'm considering the possibility of playing Spiteful Smith and then attacking this next turn just to enrage the Spiteful Smith. Because then the turn after I can play Evil Heckler, King's Defender as a 5-3 weapon. It'd be crazy. You're going to generate something, right? Or are you seriously just going to do nothing with your remaining mana? Just hover over every card. I mean, I kill this, AoE that. Leaves a 3-1 on the board. If I attacked this, then I would leave a 3-3. Three, three. I think after that, it is just pilot and sky golem. Play the strongest I can. Because then what can my opponent do? Use both of these to kill this. I'd be fine with that. Because I end up with a 4-drop after that anyway. As long as it's not Eerie Statue, I'll be fine. Eerie Statue's 3, isn't it, actually? So, yeah. Figures. Only one more card, though. Do you need a Don't play two cards. Play two cards, I'm going to call Hacks. Thank you. I do need to start putting minions out on the board because uh, we're having problems with health. I've got all the cards in the world over the opponent, but I don't have the board at almost any point. Super annoying. This guy's toast. Oh, that's really, really good for them. Oh, I don't know if I can play. I don't know if I can beat anything here. The sap gave him so much tempo. Is there a play where I like play this, replace my weapon, this becomes a uh, enraged, this weapon has five damage, I kill that. But it's the same as basically heroic striking and attacking. I think it has to be heroic strike attack plus frost elemental, but I'm sad about it. I have to kill this with the... God damn it. I had to get the kill with the heroic strike. The fuck is going on with my arm here? I had to get the kill with the heroic strike because if I enraged my opponent's weapon, I was oh, it hit the right target and they win. Well played. That was a one in three. Actually, the three extra damage they got on that didn't matter. They were gonna kill me with it anyway. Still, one in three to hit the right target. Grr. 
That's really annoying that they won that match. I don't really think they should have. No comment. Okay. Oof. Click on your hero while editing your deck to change the deck's name. Garrosh versus Anduin. Oh, there was a comment. My pack, Broken Heart. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll keep the sparring partner because the Recon Populator is better with, uh, it's better later. When it can actually be played with something, or on something. And sparring partner is better early, because if I had the King's Defender right now, I would be able to play a 3-3-3 weapon. Oh, this is going to be annoying. The damned stand yeah. Had to be a 3-4. Well, now I'm sad. I hope you like my invention. On guard. At least they have to heal this if they want it to survive the novice engineer. Which would be a pretty big tempo loss. Nice. Is it correct to play the evil Heckler? Or Death's Bite plus Dread Corsair attack this? Evil Heckler is worse because then they get to choose to use the Dark Cultist buff. This prevents them from getting any Dark Cultist buff whatsoever. So that makes this correct. Probably Steam Machine next turn. Steam Engine, rather. You can tell I really want one of Valve's console box things. Must consider... They're going to be making an announcement at CES, apparently. No, it's probably not going to be Half-Life related, but... It'd be nice to see... Uh, hang on. If I attack that... Yeah, this isn't going to be enough. I'm going to be one-off. I think I just play this and then ignore it. Attacking that right now isn't really that good because I have to like I have to kill my own novice engineer. Attack the face. Attack that. Attack that, and then develop a five. Like my board is stronger without killing the Twilight Drake right now, and it'll be a lot easier for me next turn to play Heckler Cleave than to justify playing Abomination. So I'm hoping, rather than them having a buff for this, that they just have another strong minion to play. If they Divine Spirit it, we're fucked, because we don't have an Execute in our deck. Okay. You definitely want to trade that. All of our late game drops and we don't have any at the moment. We had the 5-5. Five five. Full stop. They got card advantage out of that as well. God damn it. I've got board precedence and I've got, obviously, first turn player. Um, advantage. I hit my 7 drop before they hit their 7 drop. Yeah, that kind of thing. But still not feeling too good about it, because the later we get in the game, the more Entombs, the more Light Bombs, the more uh, Mind Control, the more those kinds of things the opponent will have. That was really good, though. Two cards for one. I've got a special going on. 
two for one opponent cards. Oh, that dies to the that dies to this. Wee. Oh, beautiful. I have to play this ages before the first mind control tech can come out. Sorry, mind control tech. Mind control can come out. Because if I get piloted sky golem, mind control, it's too much of a tempo swing for me. The sap was too much of a tempo swing last time. That would be too much of a tempo swing this time. Did I give them any spare parts? Yeah, I gave them a spare part from Mechanical Yeti. I was wondering, how have you got so many cards in hand? That would be why. Glory to the Sindori. Glory to the Sindori. Flash deal. Nice. 15. Uh, I guess it's RNG based as to whether or not I would be able to kill them. Let's think about it for a second. Death's Bite kills this. Then, if this misses face, I don't have lethal anymore. Is there any way I can make the odds better for me? Uh, no, not really. Like, I would have to play Death's Bite, somehow kill the Death's Bite with the Arcanite Reaper and cleave in order to remove this. That doesn't look like it's happening. So I think it's Death Bite just to attack, hope for lethal. 50-50 right. shot at lethal. Oops. I don't play Abomination because it's just another minion on the board that they would be able to possibly do something with. In their position, it's like, what? Light Bomb? Something like that. Light bomb something would have to happen. 3-1. There you go. <clears throat> okay. As customary, throw the phone away because it's rude to be looking at my phone over to the side. It's over there now. I'm just mining it here. While I'm trying to record a thing. Whew. Let's put my confidence ring on. For all, Shaman is Angelican. Okay. I have three deaths by it. It's relatively likely that I have one by turn four, regardless, so I've got a mulligan to get a good two drop. Throw back a death bite, get uh, get another. Perfect. I am ready. So I kind of wanted to keep the coin for skipping turn three, but if my opponent is going to go super aggressive on me, I'm not going to have the opportunity to do that. Might actually be worth my while to heroic strike attack. That's cleave. Because I was just thinking, like, you know, what are they going to play next turn? But no, what they're going to play next turn is most likely going to be vulnerable to heroic strike as well. Did you bring some fish? Yeah, that's, uh, it's annoying. That's, like, the best payout you can get from that. 3 mana for a 3-2 and a 3-4. Three, 3 mana 3-4 three, is crazy. A 3 mana for 3-2 and a 3-4 is fucking insane. Uh, I can't let that kill Evil Heckler, so I have to... That's one of the reasons Evil Heckler is not the greatest. It's not going to pull a secret out of your deck, is it, buddy? I'm starting to wish that I uh, didn't coin out the minion that I did. Uh, my death rattle will trigger first, so that won't... Uh, I won't be able to kill the... Oh, fucking... Your mother was a and a 
Opponents get taunt totems when they want them. Where were the taunt totems last run? Hmm? I'm just still salty that I had a shaman run last time and didn't get a single taunt totem the entire run. Needed one constantly, never got one. All that mattered was that they missed the 50-50 on one minion, but they didn't. Oh well. They're going very aggressive. I'm gonna take this opportunity to armor up. Next turn I can Siege Engine armor up as well. Which is gonna buff up the Siege Engine as well. But I really kinda just wanna get in some heals. Have they used the spare part that they got? No. No, they've still got a spare part in hand. Which is nice, because it means their card advantage isn't that bad. I wonder. Uh, I've got another cleave in my deck and they got the Abomination. Works for me, buddy. They're gonna start needing to have hexes and stuff like that, and if they've drafted an aggressive deck, they're less likely to have at least many hexes. Are you kidding? You anti-tempo yourself that much. That's insanity. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I can't play the Fossilized Devil Soul this turn. I want to set up for the ability to kill the minion is why. This will set up for the ability to kill the minion they're going to try and play again. They do another Fire Elemental. As long as they don't get the Taunt Totem alongside it, I'll be able to attack the Fire Elemental with the weapon, and the AoE will kill it. Even if they get the Taunt Totem, actually, I can clear that with the Sparring Partner. Oh, that's, that's even better. Because it doesn't do anything. I wouldn't be surprised to see something like Earthshock on the 3-1. The okay. I don't want to take any more face damage, but that's scaring me. <sighs> Silence or the ability to kill this and they would get through. I can't risk it. Perfect. I can kill that with the Arcanite Reaper, obviously. Well, that sheep is a little annoying. So, let's think about this. I kill that, I attack that, uh, I attack the slime. I've got a 4-2 Raging Worgen, which I then kill the Explosive Sheep with, clear the board, play an Abomination attack base. I lose 3 health. 
Or I attack that, attack that. Attack the face. Play Abomination. No, because then if they can- if they provide one damage, they clear my board in that scenario. That's so bad for me. I don't want them to know that I have the King's Defender. So instead of generate it with a free mana this turn, I'm just going to assume that the card I draw next turn is going to cost five or less mana. Because if it does cost five or less mana, then it doesn't matter, right? I wasn't going to be able to play the... Uh, I was going to be able to play the King's Defender anyway. Yep. That works. I don't think I can afford to take the damage anymore. So I kill this with the defender, go there, go there. Is there any lethal that I'm missing? No, obviously not. Okay. Just run the meta cards. I can't afford to take any more damage because I don't want to see like, you know, lightning bolt to my face, I lose. Crackle to my face, something like that. That's rough. You are kidding me, right? Fucking hell. So if I attack, attack... That'll die. This will go down to a 3-1. This will go down to a 4-4. Four, four. I kill that. I've got a 4-1 on the board. I recombobulate that and I get a random 5 drop. I'm still really heavy, heavily on the board, but I die to 4 damage. Or I can attack, 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 have nothing. No, I think I need to have stuff on the board. I think I have to go with this. It's been a long while since I've been on Trollden. God damn it. <laughs> I forgot that I was getting an extra two damage from my own abomination. Should have armored up first. I had it. I had it. It's the same as the Tides of Time uh, misplay earlier. That was like just at the start of this year, I think. Or maybe it was the very end of last year. Oh. versus Jaina. God fucking damn. <laughs> That's what happens when you try and overthink things, people. Don't try and overthink things. Just do things by instinct. Attack, attack, and armor up first. Armor up first, though. At least I got a three drop. There's bits of my soul that I didn't know I had that hurt as a result of that. <laughs> it's time for a little blood. Rather than play Gilbert and be sad, I'm gonna play Huge Toad and be really sad if they have a Flame Cannon or a Frost Bolt and hit the right target. Never mind, they tried. Were they hoping to use their hero power constructively that turn? If so, that was a really ambitious coin play. Yeah, they were hoping to use the hero power. Wow. All right, then. What a wild dude I'm up against. Play the Raging Worgen. Locks out their ability to play anything that isn't three or higher attack. Sure. That would have happened if I played the Orgrimmar anyway. 
See if I get a better two. Probably Recombob would be the only better two that I could get at that point. Spiteful Smith is super likely next turn. Especially if they do that. Drop something that is contested. It's time for a little blood. That's not contested. Prick. I can't, I can't drop the Spiteful Smith and let them, you know, ping that, attack, arcane missiles, do stupid shit like that. Well, okay. Ship, you fuck. Ugh. That's that's the original quote. Yeah, they uh they had to edit out the end of it because Johnny Depp couldn't stop swearing on set. Special delivery. Piece of shit. <laughs> uh, if I try and reveal that from stealth, I'm gonna get it killed. So. Next turn, I can Ogrimmar Aspiring Hero Power. Get myself a better weapon. Five damage on the initial hit, and then one OE, so I'll be able to deal with anything that has six health. I can even add in a uh, Heroic Strike. Just in case I'm feeling extra saucy about it. What to do? What to do? Want to play a good card? Would you like to play a heckler? It doesn't have to be a heckler. Uh. No, this is pretty straightforward, Tom. Do I even want to do that, though? Nah, I'm not gonna leave it open to chance. I'm not going to develop the Ogremar. It's too many things to put into a flame strike. Like, I would literally only have spells in my hand after that, and then I lose the game. You want it? I love it. That's really annoying. Ugh. I can kill it with a heroic strike. Fine. I don't really care about taking the damage. Okay. But they get a card. I spend a card, they spend a card, they get a card as well. And now, this could easily be stupidly good. Okay, this could be any other minion I'd be happy. Yeah. One damage upgrade? Truth is my shield. Fucking. Time for a That's gonna be effigy or. Please be duplicate. Please be. It's gonna be effigy or duplicate, and I'm gonna be really sad. Like, I had no way not to trigger it right now. At least they can't play two of them in the same turn. Six mana each, bitch. Truth is my shield. Play another minion. Repairs available. Fuck yeah. Now I can actually play a cleave. No. 
Avenge yourself. Okay, here's what happens. They don't heal, they don't taunt, they don't clear my board. Truth is my Fuck. Truth. Right, I forgot they had that. Three Sunwalkers is like, it's impossible. There's nothing I really could have done at that point. Oh, just to think, if I didn't make that misplay last game, I wouldn't be versing this opponent. Didn't even get flame struck and I still lost. Three three. So Your embarrassing. Shall not see. If you were gonna kill it anyway, why wouldn't you silence the ogre brute? Doesn't make sense. I'm so sad. This deck deserved a lot better than that. <sighs> hey, at least I got 55 gold. I'm gonna have to play another arena immediately after to try and clear my throat of that. That was... Ugh. Not good. See if I can get another warrior following up. Regardless, that's going to be it for now. My name is Min Rhapsody. That's the Bean Hearthstone Arena. God, it's harsh today. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourself and we will see you next.